Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the importance of keeping your AGM batteries above uh, 50%. So I was camping on the weekend, uh, it was very cold, and I had the heat on overnight, and when I woke up, nothing was working in the pop-up camper. Uh, the batteries were completely dead, down to zero. And not to mention it was very, very cold. I didn't have any lights, I didn't have any electricity, I didn't have any heat, I didn't have anything because, well, during the night, the two batteries I had connected in parallel, thinking it would give me enough juice for the night, I was mistaken. So this battery and this battery here, I had hooked up in parallel completely died down to zero now I hooked up my charger here to this battery and it was at zero and the wires here got very hot and the charger here got very hot and nothing was happening and after doing some research on YouTube I uh, realized that you can't charge a battery with a charger that is down to zero. Um, there's a trick where you can take a good battery and hook it up in parallel to the old battery, put the charger on it, the charger will recognize that uh, you know there's some voltage in there and it'll start charging. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to buy new batteries. Um, because I'll have to give these uh, uh, back anyway when I buy the new ones. Um, so I'm trying right now to, I have it just on, uh, sorry, the two amp. I'm gonna try on two amp for an hour and then I'm going to click it over to the 10 amp. Um, and if uh, everything just gets hot again, nothing's happening. It means the batteries uh, don't have enough voltage in them uh, to accept a charge from the 10 amp. Yeah, so apparently the trick is, uh, you know, you put your good battery, hook it up to your dead battery, then put the charger on it and leave it for an hour. And it'll, until this gets up to 11 volts. So if you're... You know, in getting into AGM batteries and deep cycle batteries for your camper or your boat or whatever, and you're a beginner like me, uh, the first thing you're going to need to get is a volt uh, tester, you know, a meter, a multimeter volt tester or whatever. I don't have one. I'm going to go get one because then you don't have a clue what's going on in here. I just kind of bought two batteries and uh, was just kind of winging it. Um, you know, how many times do these batteries go down below 50%? I have no idea. I mean, they could have, and I just didn't know, and then it damages the battery, and it, and it loses its life faster. So you want to go out and get yourself a um, uh, a multimeter, you know, so you can see what's going on with your batteries at all times. Um, another thing you want to make sure is that uh, when you're camping with a pop-up camper or an RV, uh, if you want to run your lights, if you want to run your heater, if you want to run your water pump, you're going to need a massive, massive battery setup. Um, I had two batteries hooked up uh, at 65 amp hours, and I mean, uh, it didn't even last uh, the night. So uh, maybe with two brand new batteries it would have, but then you need to charge them the next day right back up to 100%. So it's not really a good system to run your heater in your RV or your pop-up. Um, I mean, this, you know, these types of batteries here, I could see running the, the water pump, running the lights, charging your phone, stuff like that. But for running the heater all night, plus all the other things, you got to have a massive solar setup. Uh, you know, I had just these two small batteries. They're not even 6 volt or 12. Uh, I have a little 40 watt uh, charger just not enough 
Anyway, so I'll let you know if this um, charging on this 2 amp for an hour and then sending it up to 10 amp to see if that works. But anyway, I'll get back to you guys and uh, after I buy a uh, multimeter because I don't even know what the voltage is or what's going on. So that's the first thing you want to do for all the beginners out there. Get yourself a multimeter so you know what's going on with your batteries. If you really want to run stuff, a lot of stuff off your batteries, go with 6 volt, more amp hours. Um, these 12 volt, you know, um, you, I'm sure you can get a little bit more amp hours. But uh, even if you get a lot of amp hours, you have to charge them uh, after using, you know, 60-70% of it. And you're going to need a big solar... Uh, upgrade. So now I'm rethinking all of my, uh, what I'm going to do for heat in my pop-up camper, what am I going to do for batteries, and anyway, it's an ongoing learning process, and uh, that's what it's all about, right? All right, guys, I'll let you know what happens uh, with this uh, uh, 2 amp for an hour, and then 10 amp, and then we'll uh, move on to something else. If not, maybe we'll just get some new batteries. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe, please leave comments below, please hit that thumbs up button if you like the video, until next time.